Hey, my friends. Glad you're here. Today is a great workout for those who want to start building strength using dumbbells, but don't have much time. And it's all going to be from a lying position. So you can do this on the floor. You can do this on your bed. Um, on your bed, you just need to make sure there's no pillows around because you don't want your neck in a weird position. So you're just going to need a pair of dumbbells for today. So go ahead and grab those. And we'll start with a little warm up before we go to the floor. No cardio today, just hamstrings, back, triceps, and core. Sounds good, right? Okay, let's get started. With that kick across, because it's always good to warm up and get blood flowing through all those muscles, whether you're just doing this when you wake up or if this is something that you do at the end of the day and there's stiffness from sitting a lot or moving in the same movement pat or patterns. Let's go to a heel tap. It's always good to get the muscles going in a different way than, than they have been all day. So, plus it just feels good. Or at least I think it does. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well, whatever time of day it is that you watch this. And now let's go to a quad stretch and chest because our quads work so much during the day. And our chest needs stretched out always because of our lifestyle. So even though not, we're not working these muscles today, it's always good to stretch them out. Good. Now let's go to a kick out. Yes, we're definitely going to work those hamstrings today. So it doesn't have to be really high, but it does need to be bring the knee, strike with the heel. Because we're going to use them today. Four. Three, two, and now we'll punch across. Good. Oh, that's nice. We are we're definitely working some back today, but it's going to be pretty fast. It's not going to be a really long workout. Five, four, three, two, and reach over. So you might be asking, hey, how come all these workouts are too sh so short when I know I'm supposed to be working out at least 30 minutes a day or 60 minutes a day? Well, great question. <laughs> okay, but first let's go to an inner thigh stretcher. Just keeping that, that chest high. So I'll answer that question right after we do some shoulders and lower back. So let's go shoulders. Here we go. Ah, you're going to need these muscles a little bit today. And then other direction. Good. Oh, that feels good. I don't know about you guys, but that feels great. Lower back stretch. So you can sweep the floor or you can put your hands on your knees and go that way too. Okay, so while we're doing a little bit more of a warm up, let's explain why these videos are so short. Number one, so let's do arm circles. I know that your life is busy, it's very busy. And 30 minutes a day might seem like a lot at one time, other direction, but you could do a 10 minute walk on one of your breaks at work or 10 minutes outside in the morning. And then this 20 minute here and there's your 30 minutes. It doesn't always have to be 30 minutes consistently at the same time. Would it, is that the best? Yes, but it doesn't have to be. So if you can make it doable, exercise doable, then maybe you'll actually do it, <laughs> right? That's the hope and that's the goal. Okay, so let's get a little bit of a hamstring warm up. If you have lower back pain, what I want you to do is brace your hands on your knees 
and then stick your hips out and then come back up. So let your knee, your hands brace, um, help brace your lower back so there's no lower back pain, but really stick your hips out. Like try to push the wall away from you with your glutes so you get a little hamstring stretch here. For those who don't have lower back pain, hands up here by your ears, and then we're just gonna stick those hips back as well. So a slight bend in your knees, belly bend to that spine, whether you're bracing on your knees or your hands are by your ears. So protect that lower back, but you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And that means you're warming them up. Great. Good, good, good. Let's do a couple more. So good job showing up today for yourself and for your health. Excellent. Now we got to get some back. So what I want you to do, um, palms are going to face the wall behind you, okay? Pushing the wall behind you as you uh, press your shoulder blades together. So press those shoulder blades together. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Arms are locked out so that you can start warming up through that back. Here's four, three, good job, two, and one. That's effective just right there, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the floor with those dumbbells or your bed. Okay, so we're going to actually start with hamstrings first. You're not gonna need your dumbbells for your hamstrings. All you're going to do is with your legs completely extended, then put a slight bend in those knees. Toes are gonna point to your ceiling. Lower back flat in the floor, so you're doing a pelvic tilt. This is your starting position. You should feel some good ab work already just with that pelvic tilt, and especially it's more challenging on the abs because your legs are extended. Toes to the sky, slight bend in your knee, and now you're just going to lift those hips and hold. We're gonna hold here for 20 seconds. Shouldn't be lower back pain. So if it's lower back pain, bring those heels a little closer to your glutes, but just lift and hold those hips for another five, four, three, two, take a little break, knee hug. We need to extend those legs a little, you can. We're gonna do that again. Extend those legs flat, put a slight bend in your knees, Toes to the ceiling, lower back flatten the floor, lift and hold. Doing good. Almost there, 20 seconds is forever long, isn't it? <laughs> and here's four, three, two, and done. Okay, good. Little knee hug. Whew. Hopefully that was really a lot of work for your hamstrings. You may have felt it in your calves too. But now we're gonna grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do some pullovers. So lower back flat on the floor. Your scapulas, those shoulder blades are also flat on the floor. Palms face each other. Feet can be planted as well. And you're just gonna go overhead. Hinging from your shoulder. You should feel your abs working, especially when those dumbbells are overhead. That means you're working your back as well. You're doing good. Belly button is fine here. Pretend you're being tickled so you can get some extra good core work. We're gonna do four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going to do Palms face the ceiling, your scapulas are still flat on the floor and your lower back is still flat in the floor. If you have shoulder issues by holding your palms to the ceiling, then just go back to palms facing each other. So we're gonna go overhead again for another 10. Nine, good job. Eight. Seven, belly button to that spine, pretend you're being tickled. Good. Five, four, so you're working some shoulders. You're also working some back. You're probably feeling a little bit of tricep too. Two, and one. Good. 
Okay, we're gonna get some tricep, but first let's get some core, a little bit more core. So very gentle core here, keeping that pelvic tilt, lower back flat in the floor. We're gonna bring our knees over our hips and our hands over our chest. We're gonna hold here, this is a dead bug. We're gonna, uh, it's called a dead bug. We're gonna start adding movement very soon. Okay, good. Now, we're going to extend the right leg and the left arm, come back to center and then switch. Left leg, right arm and switch. So you're just gonna alternate sides, keeping the lower back in the floor the entire time. So now, if your, your core is not burning and you need more of a challenge, <laughs> then Lower your leg, keeping your lower back flow in the floor though. The lower the leg and the farther you extend it, the harder it is. Doing good. Hopefully you're starting to feel that core burn just a little bit here. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, it's so fun. <laughs> good. And let's do one more each side. Check that lower back, should be in the floor. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna roll onto our stomach, do a round of swimmers, and then we'll go back onto our back. So, uh, move this dumbbell. <clears throat> Lifting right arm, left leg, and then left arm, right leg, alternating here, arms, we're not fluttering knees. These are a very slow and controlled swimmer. Your the back of your head should be pulled toward the ceiling and your eyes looking at your the mat in front of you. So we're not looking at the wall because that will strain your neck. We're just keeping your eyes on the mat. Good, good. Trying to get that knee as high as you can and getting your bicep by your ear when you're lifting that arm. Good. All right, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. If you need a child's pose, go ahead and take it. Excellent. Oh, that feels nice, right? We're going to go back on your back and going to those hamstrings again. So straight legs and then bend, bend your knees, toes to the ceiling, pelvic tilt, lower back flat on the floor. We're going to lift and lift and hold. Good job. Keep those toes pointing to the ceiling. Should be feeling some good work in those hamstrings. Almost done. And four, three, two, and done. Take a little break. Knee hug if you need. Those are challenging, huh? And it's so easy, <laughs> yet so effective. Okay, we gotta do those one more time. Now we're gonna add a little challenge if you want. We're gonna do a single leg if you want, you don't have to. So go back to that big beginning position, lower back flat on the floor, pelvic tilt, toes to the ceiling. So single leg for 10 seconds if you want. Good. And then we'll switch and do the other side. You don't have to. And now I'll switch. But it just makes those, keep those hips square to the floor. Oh, I lost, I was too close to the glutes there. And you're done. Good, knee hug if you need. Perfect, grabbing those dumbbells. We're gonna do a little different move here. Pullovers again. Um, scapulas flat on the floor, lower back flat on the floor, feet planted, palms face each other. And now we're going to windmill these. So right arm goes overhead and then come back and left arm goes overhead. So they're, they never actually 
stop. They're always moving, both arms. Good. Belly button to your spine here. Just makes your back work a little bit differently. Awesome. And hopefully it works your core too, just a little bit differently. Doing good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so before your triceps get too tired, let's finish off those triceps. Uh, lower back flat in the floor. We're going to do some, they're called skull crushers. So, but please don't crush your skull. That's not the point. <laughs> You're um, going to hinge from your elbows and just take your, the head of your dumbbells to the floor. So if, if there's elbow pain or it's just too challenging with two dumbbells, drop to one dumbbell and grab, grab it with both hands and extend overhead. If you can do it with two, great. But keeping those elbows as stationary as possible, hinging from the elbow, the shoulder isn't doing any work. Good, good, good. So let's do five, four. Your triceps got work. Three on the pullovers, two, and one. Good job. Okay, we are done with your dumbbells. <clears throat> Let's get core one more time. So uh, pelvic tilt, lower back in the floor. We're going to go to dead bugs again. Knees over hips, hands over chest. We're just going to hold here. Belly button to your spine. Pretend you're being tickled, so you're trying to tighten up that core. Very gentle core, but effective. <laughs> Doing great. All right, so we're going to start adding some movement right now. Extending right arm and left leg. Coming back to center. Right leg, left arm. Right, left, left leg, right arm. Just alternating here. Again, nice and slow. Try, if you re focus on just trying to keep your tailbone off the floor, your abs are gonna get pretty tired pretty quickly. So if you start feeling your quads working and your abs stop working, please stop, drop to the floor, take a little break, reset and come back because you do not want those quads doing the work that your abs should be doing. Good. And the great thing about dead bugs is it helps stabilize your lower back. So these are great to do if you have lower back pain or lower back instability. Building, doing this specific core move will help a lot. Almost done. And now let's go back to that ISO hold. Hips over knee or knees over hips. Hands over chest, almost done. We're gonna hold here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great. Rolling onto your stomach, we get to do those swimmers one more time. Extending right arm and left leg, and relax. Back of the palm facing to the ceiling, Switching here, alternating hands and hand and leg. Trying to get that bicep by your ear. Doing good. Eyeballs should be looking at your mat. Getting the arm as high as you can and that leg as high as you can. Just working, building back strength here without causing back pain. Really be aware of how high your knee is off the floor or your bed, if you are doing this on your bed, as well as your arm. How, how high is that arm? And then you might realize, oh, I have some weakness. Well, let, we'll work on that. Good. Four. Three two, 
and done. Okay, excellent. Let's go to a child's pose. Stretch that lower back. And if this hurts like you've had any replacement and can't bend, let's go cat cow. We'll go cow looking up at the ceiling, letting those that lower back sag. And then we'll go cat, rounding those shoulders to the ceiling. Good. One more cow and one more cat. So you can go to a seated position, a kneeling position, let your legs hang off the bed if you're on the bed. Let's do a quick stretch with those triceps. Great job, guys. This was about a 15 minute workout. Not too long, enough time to go do an the eight minute ab finisher or stretch if you want, or <laughs> go for a walk. Let's get some shoulders here. But good job showing up today. Anytime you do exercise, it helps, helps your body. Whether it's five minutes or 60 minutes or two hours, whatever it is, it helps you. So good job showing up. I'm just gonna do one more. So we're gonna round, shrug those shoulders, Lift your right shoulder as you drop your left. Ah, who likes this stretch besides me? Okay, lift that left shoulder, drop the right. Should be getting underneath that shoulder blade area in the back. Okay, good job. Thanks for being here today. See you at the next workout. Hey, if you got value out of this video, please subscribe and also comment below what else you'd like to see? Because this channel is for you, to help you be better in your everyday life. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends about it. And we'll see you on the next video.